characteristics, right? So zero power factor characteristics are not actually enough. We are considering here load is zero power factor lagging. Clear? So in case of zero power factor lagging, actually what will happen here? So zero power factor will be first load on the connector information la, load connector will Second thing, armature current on the constant and the speed of the machine is constant and load is zero power factor lagging. Clear? So, you know, we first fix one of Actually, you know, we are going to vary the area of load, right? So, load on the variable, and the machine on the other way to internally. Actually, you know, remember one more thing the zero power factor lagging of the machine is deals with the internal power factor of the machine, right? So, external power factor, don't confuse with this, right? Zero power factor lagging, now, load on the very power factor variable, and the variable. Let us see, other number of variable case of the load of variable, first, you know, the zero power factor lagging, you know, maintain one Load of the one of the very power factor, power factor will change the other one, right? So, first of all, I am considering zero power factor lagging. If zero power factor lagging, we all know, machine like that, in case of zero power factor lagging, first of all, armature current fixed, we will vary the very one of the other one, load vary the very one of the other one, right? That is why we vary the very one of the other one, voltage and load parameters vary the armature current that is fixed, we will vary the one of the other one. So, here we have a field current, field current versus terminal voltage, that is called zero power factor. Characteristics of any RL current will vary the one of the other one, field current versus terminal voltage, that is the first one, right? So, go in and put it there, actually this is Open circuit characteristics. This is how we have to do it. First is open circuit characteristics. So, if we have to do it, that is zero power factor lagging. Almost, it is also the same as open circuit characteristics. But what is the difference in case of zero power factor lagging? Here, armature reaction or leakage reactance or very low load of current point on here. Load of current point on here, armature current is constant and maintained point on here. So, we are maintaining this armature current as constant. Due to the presence of load, machine will be in the world, the armature current present on here. No load of armature current is not there. Now, armature current is not there. Armature reaction is not there. Armature current is not there. Field current is not there. Armature reaction is not there. Your curve only is not there. Open circuit character is not there. Due to this armature reaction and leakage reactants, your curve is shifted to some point. Clear? Now, initially, we have to consider the effect of armature reaction and leakage reactants. And one more thing is, the curve is not constant. The open circuit character system, the zero power factor character system, the curve is not constant. The armature is not there. We are fixing the constant value. The shifted value is not constant value. There is no changes, there is no deviation. Clear? This is the zero power factor lagging. Clear? Now, suppose the question. This is all about zero power factor lagging. If you have a character 6, very important. Very important, what do we mean? Some other words are going to be done. Very, very important. There are so many theoretical questions. In the diagram of the question, zero power factor lagging is not going to be done. Leading may be done. Unity for factor may be done. A bit question can be done. First of all, we have to know zero power factor lagging in the machine to demagnetization effect. If we have demagnetization effect, we need more field current. That is the first step. And second one, what do we mean? If we have demagnetization effect, we have to know the power factor lagging. We have to know what the machine is going to be done. We have to know the machine is going to be done. In the alternative, we have to know the lagging power factor. 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 We have to know the demagnetization effect. We have to know the power factor. We have to know the unity power factor. We have to know the leading power factor. Magnetization effect is the same thing. Correct? So what is the conclusion? So demagnetization effect is the same thing. The voltage is the same thing. Are you getting me? The field is the same thing. The same thing 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 is the same thing. So demagnetization effect is the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. If the two are the same thing, the total is 3 weapon or 3 voltage is going to generate. So what is the conclusion? Demagnetization effect is going to generate a voltage from the coming out. You see, red voltage is going to come out. If we have a magnetization effect, the power is shifted. See that? So what do we have to do now? This is for zero power factor lagging. So in the characteristics over, right? Now I am explaining. Load of area is going to generate a voltage from the coming out. Right? Suppose, zero power factor lagging, if you are going to point a power factor lagging, if you are going to manage the curve, this is the demagnetization effect. If you have a demagnetization effect, if you are going to reduce the curve, if you are going to increase the curve, correct? Now, I am going to say, point a power factor lagging. If you are going to improve the curve, you are going to improve the curve. If you are going to leading point a curve, you are going to leading point a curve. 